Hey everybody, how's it going? Hope you're having a lovely Thursday afternoon. So today's video is going to be on a topic that a lot of content creators on YouTube have a problem with, which is YouTube flagging videos and even after a manual review process, taking them down for absolutely asinine reasons. I'm not saying it's right, but I get when this happens to somebody that has 100 or 200 subscribers. YouTube only has so much money, so much time in the day, but it's really weird when it happens to people with 1 million, 10 million, 70 million subscribers. And again, whether you're talking about a new content creator or somebody with 10 million subscribers, you will hear people complain about the fact that it is very difficult, if not impossible, to actually get through to YouTube when there is an actual problem. Now, this is one of the things that Eli, is, the computer guy who I'm going to talk about in this video, he has dealt with this numerous times. And honestly, well, I'm going to bring it up because honestly, it's just kind of fun. We've been laughing at each other over the years. Every time one of us gets kicked in the dick, it's part of the pastime of our friendship. So here he had a video where it was taken down because he had apparently used the N-word in a video called, What is TCP IP? V4. That is, that is it. What is TCP IP V4? So he gets an email saying, Hello, Eli. I hope all is well. This is redacted stepping in, and I've got news to make your day better. As part of an improved effort to make sure monetizing videos adhere to our advertiser-friendly content guidelines, we have now reviewed your video and confirmed it is available for monetization. Thanks for helping us ensure the health of monetization of the platform. Let me know if there's anything else in this that I can come up with. And Eli's response, Can you tell me what pinged the algorithm and the manual review? This was a TCP IP version 4 video. I can't make anything more vanilla than this. And yet, supposedly a human verified I said something along the lines of the N-word per the message from YouTube. What did I say that came close to the N-word? Eli. Now, this email really just demonstrates how little they care. Again, regardless of whether you have one subscriber or a million, regardless of whether you've made YouTube no money or you've made YouTube over $100,000 a year, several years consistently to where you are paying a six-figure salary to somebody at that organization. Hi, Eli. Thanks for getting back. This is redacted again. I know that you are concerned for how your video got flagged for inappropriate language. Here's some info. Let me share that our systems may sometimes capture words that may be deemed inappropriate by our human reviewers. We use an automatic captioning system in order to capture words from speech or dialogue in videos. In some cases, our system may capture words that could be inappropriate due to stammering, unclear audio, background music. We're working to make best to make this more accurate and precise. On rare occasions, and this is a, the important part here, this is kind of like when Apple says a small number when they're doing a recall. On rare occasions, our our human reviewers would rely on the auto captions captured by the system. If this happens, you can always reach out to us so we can have a further look at it. How many of you who make content on YouTube have found it easy to reach out to somebody at YouTube so that they could have a further look at anything? I know this seems really important to you as a creator, and we appreciate your patience and understanding is greatly appreciated. And then Eli says, Houston, we found the problem. So manual reviews are based on people reading auto-generated closed captioning. Well, F, that explains so much. So just to get this clear, you could be a content creator that makes YouTube $100,000 a year just on their side of it, and they still can't actually listen to make sure that in a video on TCP IP version 4 that what you said in the video was the N-word versus, I don't know, IP address or something like that. And you wonder why people have problems with this platform. Now, one of the things that I've said for a really long time is that I, st I don't believe YouTube has an incentive structure to change. All of the complaints tend to be on the content creator side, and YouTube is so filled with content creators that, let's face it, if one or two or three people leave and say, I'm only posting on Library, I'm only posting on Odyssey, I'm only posting on Rumble, people don't really follow and go, th you know, and go to these other platforms. I mean, again, most of my videos on Rumble, I've made two cents off. If I post a video here, even with the algorithm killing me, 4,000 to 20,000 views. Same video on Rumble, 12. Uh, at the end of the day, unless people are willing to follow creators to other platforms en masse, nothing's going to change because the incentive structure is never going to change. YouTube doesn't have an incentive to actually treat people with any sort of dignity or respect if we're all going to be here anyway. And this is really a sign of that. Again, he has been on this platform for 12 years. And it's not like monetization is unclicked. Eli doesn't talk about the money part of it anymore as much, and I do recall him saying that his wife kind of was like, you stop talking about money on YouTube. But I remember when he did. And just the YouTube side of what they were earning off of him is enough that they can afford to have somebody listen to five seconds of content rather than nerf something in a manner that could potentially have your entire channel destroyed. People are going to disagree and say, no, they should do that for everybody. But let's face it, you know, again, if you have, if you have a channel with five views, you're not making enough advertising revenue to afford an actual human being to listen to everything, it's particularly on a platform that has this much content being uploaded on a regular basis. However, when the amount of money that's being generated is enough that YouTube side of it 
it is over six figures, I don't think it's that much to ask that rather than using robot generated captions that you actually listen to the five seconds to figure out if what was said was what was actually said. And like, it really does beg the question, is anybody actually safe from this if this is happening on a video that, shit you not, is titled, What is TCPIP version 4? Let me know what you think in the comments down below. That's it for today. And as always, I hope you learned something. Except Eli, he didn't need to learn anything because he knew YouTube was this stupid over six years ago. See you in the next one. Bye now. Yeah.